come to simplify maths. And in our class today, we are taking quadratic equation part 3, which is by the use of the formula method. In our part 1, we solved quadratic equation using factorization method. And in part 2, we solved quadratic equations using completing the square. And so now we are taking the, com uh, the formula method, which is the almighty formula. Remember that before now, I have told you that the general form of a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. When you complete the square of ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero, you arrive at x will be equals to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. When you complete the square of ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0, you arrive at x equals to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This is what we refer to as the formula method, the almighty formula. It is also used in solving quadratic equation. And so when you have a quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0, the a is the coefficient of x squared, the b is the coefficient of x, and the c is a constant. All right, say for instance, uh, assuming we have to take one of the previous examples we used in completing the square, which is x squared plus 2x minus 15. x squared plus 2x minus 15 equals to 0. And I think we arrive at two answers, 3 or minus 5. Those were our result, 3 minus 5. Now, let's see if we can solve by formula method if we still arrive at those two answers. Now, our a, which is the coefficient of x squared, is 1. Because if there's no number in front of x squared, it means the number in front is 1. Our b, which a is the coefficient of x, you can see the b there, which is the coefficient of x, is 2. While our c, which is the constant, is minus 15. So we are going to substitute this into the formula and then find the value of x. Therefore, it means that our x will be equals to minus b. Minus b. That's minus b is 2. Plus or minus the square root of b squared. b is 2. So that will be 2 squared minus 4 times a. a is 1 times c. C is a negative 15 all over 2 times A. 2 times A. A is still 1. So that means our X will be equals to minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared is 4. Minus, you open your bracket, 4 times 1 times a negative 15 will give us a negative 60. 4 times 1, 4 times negative 15 will give us negative 60 all over 2 times 1, which is 2. It means that our x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 4. Minus minus will become plus 60 all over 2. That means our x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 6 plus 4 gives us 64 all over 2. Completing the square method is one of the very cheapest methods in solving quadratic equations. Please take note of that. It's so easy. It's just for you to substitute the values you have and that's all. So which means our x now will be equals to minus 2 plus or minus. The square root of 64 is 8 all over 2. It therefore means that our x will be minus 2 plus 8 all over 2 or minus 2 minus 8 all over 2. Our x will be minus 2 plus 8 to give us 6 over 2. Minus 2 minus 8 to give us minus 10 over 2. Therefore, our x will be 6 all over 2, that's 3, or minus 10 divided by 2, which is minus 5. So those were the same values we had when we solved both by factorization and by completing the square. We are still having the same thing when you use the formula method. Alright, so we'll go straight to number 2. Number 2. Alright, and in our number 2, I remember vividly that we solved 6x squared minus 7x plus 2. 6x squared 
minus 7x plus 6x squared minus 7x plus 2 is equals to 0. And we arrive at two answers. I think half or 2 all over 3. Those were the two answers we had. Half and 2 over 3. So let's see if we also solve by the formula method if we still have the same two answers. Okay, now if you understand that ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, what will be our a here? a is a coefficient of x squared, which is 6. And our b is a coefficient of x, which is what? A negative 7. And our c is a constant, which is what? A positive 2. That's a constant. So our a is 6, our b is minus 7, and our c is 2. So we are also going to substitute that into the almighty formula to see if we are still going to have the values of x. So our values of x will be equals to minus b minus b our b is a minus seven minus b and the b is minus seven so that's why i have minus before the minus seven plus or minus the square root of b b squared which is minus seven squared minus four ac four times what is our a six times what is our c two four ac all over 2 times a, 2 times a, a being 6. So we are going to have our x to be equal to minus minus is a positive 7, plus or minus the square root of. Minus 7 squared is a positive 49, minus 4 times 6, 24 times 2, that's 48. All over 2 times 6, which is 12. And so we are going to have our x to be equals to 7 plus or minus the square root of 49 minus 48. That's 1 all over 12. So it means our x to be equals to 7 plus or minus the square root of 1 is 1 all over 12. The square root of 1 is 1. We still have that over 12. So at this point, we are still going to have our x. To be equals to 7 plus 1 over 12, 7 plus 1 over 12, or 7 minus 1 over 12, 7 minus 1 all over 12. So we are going to have our x to be equals to 7 plus 1 is 8 over 12, or 7 minus 1, that is 6 over 12. It therefore means that the roots will be will reduced to the lowest term, eight, 4 here, 2, 4 here, 3, or here we reduce to the lowest term 6 here 1, 6 here 2. It therefore means that the roots of the equation are 2 over 3 or half. So whatever example we take, as long as you know the values of a, b, and c, and you substitute into the formula, the almighty formula, you will see how the roots very simple. Thank you very much for being in class today, and thank you for subscribing to our past videos. We also want you to please like video and subscribe to it so that when next you take the graphical solution we will also be alerted and will attend the class thank you and god bless you see you in our next slide cheers